There's so much that's going on during during that period. And the rose float becomes the high point. So while a lot, a lot of other people are so glad the semester's over, the exams are done, the papers are in, I go to a high point of, I get to once again see the extraordinary work of the students from Cal Poly San Luis Obispo and Cal Poly Pomona. And so I know that if Jeff Armstrong were here, president of San Luis Obispo, he would certainly join me in extending the pride and the excitement that you generate for a campus and our community. I, um, what is amazing about this process is that you come from all different majors. You come to the campus and somehow or another you are brought in. I don't know if it's a magnet or what. Because it's I'm a also, strong magnet. That's it's, right. It must be. Because I'm amazed at the students when I talk to you. Well, have you ever worked on anything like this? No. How did you decide to do this? Well, I thought it would be interesting. <laughs> and what was it that kept you going? Said, well, I was given responsibility and I couldn't let folks down. There's something about the experience. I am going to make it. <laughs> <clears throat> There's something about the experience that this rose float provides. And I think that's also why we every year continue to see the alums because there is there's an emotional connection that one has as a result of being a part of this experience. And so I'm just so thrilled. I hope by January 2nd, I'm gonna have my voice so that I can scream as you come down Colorado Boulevard. But we're just so proud of you. And, and I know that family and friends, you probably, if it's your first year experience with your child or your loved one with the rose float, I remember a father that I met who came and he said, I had to come see why my son said he couldn't come home for Thanksgiving dinner <laughs> because I didn't believe him. And so he came. He actually helped put a flower on the float, and he understood. And so for first year, parents and family members, they really are. A little thank you. cold water. I'm getting some hot water. <laughs> they really are working throughout this time period. And so I want to thank Josh and Carrie. Where's Carrie? Carrie's up on the side. Uh, yeah. Josh, right here. Josh. I want to thank them because the two of them provide enormous, um, not only support and leadership, but encouragement. They're kind of the internal cheerleaders. And then when you add a Michelle Gentro, thank you, <laughs> Michelle Gentro, and all of the alums, it is an extraordinary experience. And I want to thank all of you who came out Thanksgiving and other times to feed, to provide food and other kinds of support for our students. We're just so proud of you. And I look forward to it. Said, I keep saying January 1st, January 2nd. January 2nd, that's right. There Let's say it again. To January, January 2nd. 2nd. January 2nd. So thank you. Uh, stay blessed. Please stay healthy. And I just want to, again, uh, how many of you are seniors, by the way? Graduating. Yeah. Seniors. Year <laughs> four, year five. Woo, <laughs> 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 So that means we have a continued crew for next year. We got room. We got room. We sold the juniors, sophomores, and freshmen. Um, we look forward to what you're going to produce next year. Now, there's one young lady who I met, and I think she's still part of this. 
when I asked her how she decided to become a uh, join this, we bring the float back you know, after the parade. And her Girl Scout troop came over to see the float after it returned to the campus. And she decided then, as a Girl Scout, she wanted to come to Cal Poly Pomona wow. to work on the Rose Float. Is she here? I don't remember her name, but does that resonate with anybody's story? I hope she didn't drop out from the <laughs> <laughs> But in any event, that's how, that's how students become connected with this. And so thank you again. It's a, it's a proud tradition. And Michelle, thanks for all that you do. And thanks for those people brought newspaper. I just realized I looked every place for newspaper. I, I know. I sent a note out. Everybody get my note. Yeah. Newspaper. Bruce Renfrew, thank you very much. Tony Maricino, thank yes. you very much. Yes, thank you so much. <laughs> so, uh, thank you, Dr. Cole. You know, I want to I take a minute to introduce a couple other people um, here. Along with uh, Dr. Coley today, uh, Jamal Pleasure, Vice President of Advancement here at Cal Poly Pomona. Uh, Michelle Crawford, no, yes, Crawford, I apologize. Um, here, as, as Dr. Bleeder is uh, from the Business. Also, so Jennifer Half, the Chief of Staff from the San Luis Obispo. Okay, uh, we met Carrie up on, oh, wait, there you go, Carrie Kitao. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Josh DeCristo. KKW. Yes. Um, let's give it up. KKW. Yeah. 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 I've been around a long time and I know KKW for a long time. They haul us down to Pasadena and they haul us back from Pasadena. So we are very grateful. Uh, continued support. Um, they've been a long time. They're a Pomona company and they've been a long time supporter of the university and we are grateful for your support. Um, all of the um, friends and family um, here, raise your hands. Friends, family, you guys cannot do this without you. Thank you very much. Alumni. Yay. Alumni. Yay. Come on. Get up. Okay. And Ashley, back there. Ashley. Woo. Keep, keep everything else going. So um, we are going to let uh, Ryan and Ann, Annie come up here and speak. We're going to give you, while they're speaking, you guys need to back up for a little bit because they're going to smash a bottle of champagne to Chris and Miss Love. Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome Hi. to Move Out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is a lot of people. Uh, yeah. I was talking about, you know, we can't do this without all the support from the alumni, and friends and family, the support network. Um, clearly, there's a lot of you, so we really appreciate all the help and support. And I'm sure your floaters at home uh, that you talk to every night and tell the crazy stories that they do here. Um, I'm sure they really appreciate you, so... Thank you everybody for the support. Um, it's greatly appreciated. Yeah, uh, alumni, you feed us. Friends and family, you give us your children. We appreciate that. <laughs> um, so thank you to everyone for making this possible. Uh, I'd also like to thank our staff. Yeah. Um, <laughs> they've been amazing this entire time. Um, also, of course, the students. We could not do this with all of without all of you. So thank you everybody for all of the hard work you've done on the float so far and will continue to do. It looks amazing. I can't wait! <laughs> yeah, this is this is quite a beautiful float so far. Uh, very excited. Um, I, I'd also like to thank the campus as well on both sides. Um, you are our homes. We literally couldn't do this without you. Um, so all the all the thanks for uh, the campus support. Um, it's greatly appreciated. But, I'll see you, but thank you, President Coley, wherever you are. <laughs> and President Armstrong, of course. And President Armstrong. Yeah, um, Cal Poly, only self-built in the entire trade that is built by students. Big deal. I like um, to think yeah. so. I like yeah. to think so. Um, we're constantly pushing the limit. Um, we have a record of innovations for the parade even. Um, it's very exciting, and we hope to continue to push the envelope uh, every year as well. What number float are you this year? This is our 73rd. No, what number in the parade? Oh, we are second, yes. right after the hospital. Oh, okay, you guys cannot, nobody can sleep in. Yeah. Sleep in. Right. Yeah. 
or sleep in and catch that rewind right after. Right 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 so quite a we'll be making. Um, very exciting. Quite possibly the best spot for a float to be. Oh, uh, because nobody's going to beat Honda. They're a big player in this game. So we're next. I love it. I love it. Very excited. Alrighty. Um, All right. So while you get your gear on, I want to mention two things. Okay, safety first. So again, you guys have edged up. You're going to back up because there's going to be glass line. Second thing is, um, Robert is here from and a member of tournament, and so he's got a he's got a 10 second special announcement. Hi everybody. I'm with the, I'm with the tournament, but I'm also an alum from from uh, Cal Poly Pomona. Um, I didn't work on the float. My brain wasn't fully formed yet when I was here. <laughs> but, uh, you know, despite that, I just want to give you guys all an open invitation. If you want to, if you're intrigued by doing things on the world stage and you'd like to be part of the white suitor community, and, and I'm a float liaison. I had the last float. I live in Diamond Bar. I keep lobbying for the Chino, I mean the Cal Poly float, and they keep you know, giving me bigger responsibilities and stuff like that. You guys are too easy. But anyway, so just want to invite you all. If you want to become members of the tournament. You can, you can find a link on, on the website or whatever. It's pretty easy to find. But I just want to invite you to think about becoming a white suitor and doing this, you know, in, for a long time in your life. It's made a huge impact in my life. It's my sixth year, and I just love the hell out of it. I can't say enough about it. But thank you for we, the We, love, we love the it. hell out of it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to count down. This is a practice run. Yeah. Okay, this is a practice run. Don't drink on number one. Okay, three, two. Three, toast. Oh, toast. That's it. Toast. Yeah, okay. And then hit. Okay. All right. Yeah, I think you're going to go on this one. Ready? Three, two, toast. toast. Yeah. Go for it. Okay. We're waiting. Well, that's a practice run. <laughs> I can't follow the struggle. Let's do it. That was a real cake. Three, two, cheers. Yeah.